This is a video presentation of some of the Lutron options for residential lighting. This first option is a Lutron Graphic Eye QS controller. We are in a bathroom and this was in a retrofit application. Originally there were three switches at the door of the bathroom. Each switch controlled a different zone of lights in the room. There are wall lights, different ceiling lights, operating the individual three switches depending on desired lighting levels became cumbersome. Uh, replacing the three switches with a four gang wall box and installing the Lutron QS controller made a much more pleasing solution. This particular controller is a model QS GRJ 3P. The 3P stands for three poles or three zones. Each zone is represented by these buttons here. You can individually operate each zone here, but what's preferred is scene lighting. The concept of scene lighting is where one pushes a single button and it actuates the zones to pre-configured lighting levels. On this model, the bottom button is configured for all off. Now, when the user walks in the room and pushes a single button, the three different zones come up or down to the desired level. This graphic eye controller has custom engraved labels for the buttons. This controller also has different areas for shades. This is an option when you purchase your graphic eye. In this retrofit application, the graphic eye controller was placed right next to the door. But there are some options to place the graphic eye controller elsewhere. In new construction, it might actually be more pleasing to place the graphic eye controller in a closet and then to have a single gang wall station with minimal wall penetration. Here we are in a different bathroom now with new construction. There are four different lighting zones in this bathroom. So essentially, we are controlling four different switches with this single gang keypad controller here. There's a bathroom fan timer installed next to it, but this is what we're looking at. And pushing each button here operates the graphic eye controller that's located in a closet for each scene. This is particularly nice having different levels of light in a bathroom where at night when you walk into the bathroom you may only want a low level of light so your eyes don't have to adjust as much. Here we are in a closet adjacent to the bathroom. Again this is all new construction. In this closet there are two different graphic eye QS controllers. This is the controller for the bathroom with the keypad that we just saw. And there's another controller for the main room here. There's also a remotely located keypad at the entry. Here's the controller for the main room graphic eye that we saw. This particular controller has an infrared window that we can use with different remote controls to turn the lights on and off. Installing this level of graphic eye control in new construction requires a tremendous amount of planning. The graphic eye controllers can be used as individual standalone options or in whole house lighting. If you don't have the luxury of new construction, then there are some other retrofit applications that still allow for whole house lighting. Next is Lutron's Radio Ra 2 system. This allows for whole house lighting, scene control, and retrofit and new applications. With the Radio Ra 2 system, there are wirelessly controlled dimmers, switches, fan controllers, basically any way to control any load that your residents may have. The Radio Ra 2 system requires a central controller to wirelessly send out commands. There's a limit to the number of devices. There's also a limit to the range of the wireless signals. Repeaters can be added if extended range is needed. In this house, the main controller is discreetly located 
under the table. With this particular wall station, we're controlling the lights in a living room. And there are multiple zones here. The first controller is a hybrid controller. This is actually giving a keypad to trigger the Lutron Radio Raw 2 system. We have a fan controller and we have Radio Raw 2 dimmers. Individual floor and table lamps can be incorporated in the system. This lamp's plugged into an accessory here that integrates with the whole house Radio Raw 2 system. This is one keypad in this house's Radio Raw 2 system. This is in a combined kitchen dining area. There are approximately 11 different loads in this room. And we can program any of those loads to whatever desired level through Lutron software. The keypads are backlit. And again, we have the same options for custom engraving of the different buttons. You can place multiple keypads at different points of the room for ease of control. We can even control this system with an iPad or iPhone. Each dimmer has to be chosen for the type of load. Lutron's configuring software will help you choose the proper switch. You can input the type of the load, such as incandescent, electronic low voltage, etc. The watt consumption and the, the program will give you the appropriate model number for the switch or dimmer. There are options for handheld and tabletop controllers. This is a Pico remote controller. This is used in a bedroom. Here we have a switched outlet. Notice that this is not a dimmer, this is a switch. We have the room's main overhead lighting and we have a fan controller. This Pico remote control is sending a wireless signal to the repeater that we saw downstairs and the repeater is sending signals back up to the switches, choosing our scenes and zones. The Pico controller can be placed on the wall. This is actually a single gang box with a two gang plate and the Pico controller here is essentially double stuck taped to the wall. There's no box behind here but this gives us an inexpensive option for a keypad in this room. The nice thing about this is that if this system ever changes where we want to take out this particular keypad, we remove this, re replace it with a single gang wall plate, and you'll never know that the Pico controller was there. There are also options for occupancy sensors. This particular bathroom has an occupancy sensor on the ceiling. Again, that's sending signals to the main repeater, which is then controlling the different zones in this bathroom. The occupancy sensors are very nice in pantries. Again, here's an occupancy sensor on the ceiling. Here's the switch that we're controlling. Same concept, when we walk out of the pantry, the lights will turn off. So with the Radio Raw 2 system, every light, every load that's being controlled has to be connected to a Radio Raw 2 compatible addressable switch or dimmer. In this area here, you can see that there's a logo on the fronts of the switches. This indicates that these are part of the system. They're wirelessly controlled. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've seen some ideas that you can use in your home. This has been an overview of some of the options that Lutron provides for residential lighting. Thank you for watching.